tonight I, I was doing my worship and just just the other day, um, I don't know, a day ago or so, someone tried to kill President Trump, former President Trump, that some crazy guy. And, um, you know, praise the Lord, it didn't go through. Um, but just to hear that, you know, I heard it on the Greenway when I was talking to a lady and, and actually there was a, there was a, an accident up above on the Greenway and I had just prayed about having an encounter and I grabbed a great controversy book and put it in my backpack. I don't know why I grabbed that, but I did. I just felt impressed. And so I'm on the Greenway riding my bike and here's this accident and I see this lady and she's walking, she's watching. And then I look back up at the accident and I'm like, I, I didn't know it was an accident at first because I just saw a lot of sirens in a in a uh, fire truck. So then when I turned around on the greenway, she was actually sitting on a bench and I felt compelled to go over to her. And I said, do you know what's going on? She says, yeah, it was a three car accident. I said, oh man. She said, I'm really hoping nobody's hurt. And I said, well, you know, uh, I, I feel the same, but you know, this is, this is how quickly, quickly life can change. And I said, you know, what I look at is how many people aren't prepared? How many people say, oh, I'm going to put it off, I'm going to put it off about God. And then the next day they're dead. Yeah. And what we don't understand is this is how long our life is here on earth. And what we really are missing is the eternal life that we could be given if we come to Jesus. And so that's a pretty heavy duty, like, e, I don't want it. Who wouldn't want eternal life? And I said, people just aren't preparing themselves. And she, she's like, yeah, a absolutely. And she said, well, look, look at how President Trump got uh, shot at today. And I'm like, what? She says, yeah, someone tried to kill him. I'm like, are you kidding me? And, and I'm just like, I'm the greenway shocked. And so we talked about how, you know, things are really getting bad. And I said, you know, it's because they took God out of everything. You know, this is where we're going. And she agreed. She agreed. She says, yeah, that has a lot to do with it. And I said, oh, hey, hang on. I, I said, I just remembered. I, I prayed as I came on the greenway here. And I said, I, I don't think this is by accident. I got a, I got a book that I prayed over. I, I, I'm going to give it to you. I know it's for you. And when I pulled it out, she looked at it. And she saw the cover, right? And it was um, had a cover of um, the capital of the United States. And she's like, oh. she's like, we just got done talking about Trump and government. And I said, yeah, I know. And look at the book that I put in my backpack. She said, well, this isn't by coincidence. And I said, no, it's not by coincidence. But anyway, the beginning of this, I, I wanted to touch base because, you know, we are going to have more emergencies. We're going to have more. I mean, I don't know where this is going to lead. I don't even know there, if there's going to be an election. They, they, you know, they might try to shut down, right? The government. Who, who knows? Is there going to be more assassination attempts? I mean, what, what is going on here? When will people just stop? And the hate, the hate is just. And you know, I'm just going to be. I'm going to be honest. I see a lot more hate coming from the liberal side than I do the conservative side. Now, I know the conservatives, it can be, you know, there's always, there's always some of them. But from what I'm seeing in the media, it seems like the hate that's spewing from the left is, is really bad. And I'm not saying that the right is without fault because I'm, I'm neither side. But I'm just as a casual observer looking at this, and it's like they want Trump dead. I don't think the right wants Camilla dead. No one's trying to shoot her. And so do you see that this is really getting ridiculous. But tonight I grabbed um, this um, Testimonies for the Church. It's a very, very old book. And it is amazing what was written back in, I don't know, 18, 1900s and how it's applying today. So I'm going to read, because I had I had to just grab this. I, I have to share with you because of all the stuff that's going on. This is going to blow you away. It starts off, um, it, it says God cares for his work. And, and I just randomly opened it to page 753, and it says, We are standing on the threshold of great and solemn events. Prophecy is fast fulfilling. Listen to this. 
The Lord is at the door. Is this not true or what? There is soon to open before us a period of overwhelming interest to all living. Oh, wow. The controversies of the past are to be revived. New controversies will arise. The scenes to be enacted to our world are not yet even dreamed of. You know how old this book is? This is amazing what I'm reading. Satan is at work through human agencies. Those who are making an effort to change, listen to this, the Constitution. Little do they realize what will be the result. This, this is, this is a crisis is just upon us. I mean, I can't believe this. And I just open it up and I'm like, all the stuff that's unfolding and I'm reading this. And then it goes on, but, I always love it when it says but, but God's servants, okay, listen now, listen, 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 they're talking about us, are not to trust who? Themselves. In this great emergency. Now, now, really, pay attention. It says, in the visions given to Isaiah, to Ezekiel, okay, and to John, we see how closely heaven is connected with the events taking place upon the earth and how great is the care of God for those who are loyal to him. Uh, now, hang on, let me flip the camera here. Now, listen to this. The world is not without a ruler. It's not. Don't become discouraged. As believers, we're not without a ruler. The program of coming events is in the hands of the Lord. How many of you believe that? I mean, do you believe that? Or are you just so distracted right now? So distracted. And you know what? I've got stories to tell about what's happening in, in, in the Adventist church. Everything's going viral. Everything's going viral. And, 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 you know, they need to read. They need to read what this is saying. The majesty of heaven has the destiny of nations as well as the concerns of his church in his own charge. And, and that is, I mean, think about this. Things have to unfold. Things have to happen. Now, we could guess all day. We could guess all day. But it doesn't make any difference who ends up being president. I'm telling you, and you may not like to hear that, but it's God who's still in charge. And, and we, we, instead of getting distracted by the politics, by, uh, by you know, all this cancel culture and the left and the right and who who said she said and they said and and then and then the, and then like the, the people are fighting within the churches we need to stop as believers shame 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 on us and get back to god's word and 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 what does it say in ezekiel and in Zaya in john we we already have the end of the story we already know that it will play out all we're called to do is have faith and continue to preach the gospel, right? Am I, am I wrong? Am I saying something that, that isn't correct? And then it says, we permit ourselves to feel altogether too much care, trouble, and perplexity in the Lord's work. <laughs> I mean, that's spot on. That's spot on. How many in Raise Your Hands are watching way too much news, way too much YouTube, getting way too involved in, 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 the, in the rabbit hole. And, and we're, we're, we're feeling the trouble. We're feeling anxious. We're, 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 this is, this is we, we don't need to, this is what this says. We care too much. The trouble, perplexity, and the Lord, this is the Lord's work. Let him do the work. Finite, finite men are not left to carry the burden of responsibility. It's not our responsibility. We need to what? Trust in God. Believe in him and go forward. The tireless vigilance of the heavenly messengers and their unceasing employment in their ministry in connection with the beings of earth show us how God's hand is guiding the wheel within a wheel. The divine instructor is saying to every actor in his work, 
as he said to Cyrus of old, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. And I'll just read a little bit more. In Ezekiel's vision, God had his hand beneath the wings of the cherubim. This is to teach his servants that it is divine power that gives them success. He will work with them if they will put away iniquity and become pure in heart and life. So I don't know about you, but I think that just had some real solid advice. So, you know, one of the reasons why I'm doing a little bit more of these little mini devotions and, and readings is things are really ramping up and, and we need to stay connected. We need to stay focused. We need to stop being distracted. And there's a lot of distractions and, and we need to stay in God's word and we need to pray together. And, and I mean, this is not the time to get lost. This is not the time to be discouraged or sucked in. I mean, yes, we're in this world, and, and that's the way it is, but, you know, we have to remember what Jesus said, we're, son we're sonjurers of this world. We are waiting for heaven. We're waiting for heaven. So while you wait, tell somebody about Jesus, and read your Bible, and pray, and make amends, and find forgiveness in your heart. Do something good for somebody. I mean, you know, right? There's a whole list of things. Instead of turning on the news and just getting sucked in. Don't get sucked in. Okay? Just don't get sucked in. All right. All right. I'm going to post it. I hope, I hope this speaks to somebody.